to another edition of C19 News. I'm Jordan Alexander. And I'm Vernetta Baines. North Korea President Kim Jong-un has made a proposal to discuss denuclearization with the United States. Jong-un agreed to stop testing nuclear bombs temporarily. The peace talks are expected to take place in April. West Virginia teachers have returned to the classroom. The teachers were on strike for nine days beginning February 22nd with about 20,000 teachers walking out of school. West Virginia lawmakers agreed to give teachers and state workers a 5% pay increase to end the strike. To tell us more about Destination 2025, here's Carlisha Hubbard in the studio. Who are the voices of Destination 2025? Destination 2025 is more than a slogan for SES. It's a commitment. School leaders recently hosted an event bringing together young minds from all around the district. Dr. Griffin, Chief of Schools, had questions for the class of 2025. I am so honored to have meeting number two with our first graduates of D2025. My generation right now is fifth grade. We're going to graduate high school in 2025, and one of our goals is to help us get, be prepared for college and our opportunities for different scholarships. And we talked about some suggestions, worries, needs, and excitement. I think we should start now because if you aren't prepared, it could um, all go wrong. But when you get out of college, your parents are hoping that you get a, a job or career. One of my suggestions was um, to like have like groups like for empowerment, so like to give students courage and like just be proud of themselves for what they can do. One of my suggestions was um, kids should be able to choose their own um, activities, kind of like high school, where people get to choose their activities, like to help them train for the job that they want to become, like the job they want to do to have. I'm not so sure how to say that. Some of my suggestions was to get an elevator because some like disabled kids, like with a wheelchair for example, they can't get up the stairs. It will help better prepare us for what's coming next and it'll prepare us for um, our careers and what we want to do with our life after school. Not only does it give me hope, but it also inspires me to want to do more. Today's fifth graders, tomorrow's leaders. In the studio, I'm Carlisha Hubbard. Dating violence is a big issue among teens. Kirby High School is doing its part to keep students safe. The school hosted a dating violence awareness event with Shelby County Schools Coordinated Health. Special Project Coordinator Tyranny Stanford spoke on the importance of knowing what a healthy relationship looks like. Uh, today, uh, the program was about teen uh, dating violence awareness, and uh, students had an opportunity to hear from industry professionals, uh, social workers, uh, mental health workers, and law enforcement about, uh, you know, dating violence, you know, what it entails, what it is, what it is not. So, like, one in every three teenage girls experiences teen dating violence, and we just feel like it's important that kids know the difference between what is healthy, what is unhealthy. I thought it was very interesting. I never really heard somebody give a real story out there saying what they've been through or what they went through. A lot of it goes to uh, relationships at home and basically you know what you're dealing with uh, in your home life. And so a lot of kids are so uh, closed in and they're not taught to, uh, to speak up and to speak out about different things that are happening so they ball the emotions up. And we're encouraging young people to start speaking out so the healing can begin because if you never let it out, you can't let anybody else come into the situation. It's prevalent uh, among this age group in high school. A lot of these kinds of things are going on and we want to know, you know, empower the students to have information to help with prevention as well as to help to support those who actually have experienced these types of things. Stanford words left a strong impression on the students at Kirby. In the studio, we have Noah Hill to tell us about this year's Oscars. This year's Oscars was filled with excitement and big winners. Film director Jordan Peele made history at the 90th Academy Awards. Peele is the first African American to win Best Original Screenplay. Peele wrote, produced, and made his directorial debut with the film Get Out. Other big winners at the Oscars for Best Actress, 
Francis McDormand, Greg Ullman won Best Actor, and The Shape of Water won Best Picture of the Year. In the studio, I am Noah Hill. Corey Chairs has your C-19 sports update. Golden State Warriors coach Steve Kerr believes players who leave college early for the NBA draft but go unpicked should be allowed by the NCAA to return to school. Kerr feels that if the goal is to do what is best for the kids, then why not allow them to go back to school if they are undrafted? Kobe Bryant is still on a winning streak. The retired Los Angeles Lakers star brought home an Oscar for his contributions to the animated short Dear Basketball. Based on a poem he wrote in 2015 announcing his impending retirement from basketball. In the studio, I'm Corey Chairs. For C19, I'm Jordan Alexander. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bernetta Baines. Have a nice day.